Pacific Magazine. I'm Petty Officer Kirk Putnam here in the Philippine Sea, where Exercise Multi-Sail 2015 is already underway. But you may be asking yourself what multi-sail really is. Multi-sail is an annual exercise that started in about 2007, and it's evolved over the years in scope, scale, and complexity. It's an opportunity for us to bring ships, aircraft, submarines, and other resources together to focus on our core warfighting capabilities, practice techniques, tactics, and procedures, and learn how to work together as an overall naval force. The exercise is designed to be a self-assessment of warfighting capabilities and to increase teamwork and coordination between ships in formation. This year, Multisail offered rare live-fire demonstrations of major weapon systems and even invited a few new guests. This year was a unique year. This is the first time that we have integrated uh, any other nation into multi-sail. So the JMSDF brought down uh, three destroyers plus the staff from Escort Flotilla 3, and they performed flawlessly. Uh, we learned a tremendous amount from each other, and I think as a combined force, we're a much better team coming out of the exercise. But the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force was not the only new addition to the exercise this year. The 2015 version of Multisail was a unique year. Uh, first, we integrated the Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force, but additionally, we integrated Naval Special Warfare Unit 1 into the exercise. The first time we've had the opportunity to do that, and it was a great event to start to build the bridge between conventional and unconventional forces in the Pacific. Providing support for this large-scale exercise is a major undertaking, requiring the assistance of USS Antietam, USNS Pecos, USNS Amelia Earhart, Helicopter Maritime Strike Squadron 77, 51, 35, and 37. The Japanese Maritime Self-Defense Force ships, JS Otago, JS Yudachi, and JS Makinami, took part in the exercise while working alongside USS Lassen, USS Fitzgerald, USS Curtis Wilbur, USS Michael Murphy, and USS Sampson. On board USS Sampson, all of our weapon systems are ready to be employed at a moment's notice. It's a good day when you start the day putting rounds down range, whether it's a five inch pack fire, a missile exercise that we've been fortunate enough to do, or just any type of practice with our, our crew serve weapons and our, our small arms teams. As gunnery officer on board USS Samson, Ensign Broadhead was largely concerned with the firing of the Mark 4-5 5 5-inch gun. While a Japanese aircraft towed a small unmanned drone as a target 1,500 yards behind the aircraft. During the towed drone exercise that we did out here, the setup was a little bit different than we're used to. The cable wasn't quite as long as we're used to seeing with some of our previous exercises. So it gave us the opportunity to practice our targets at a, a much shorter range and a smaller window. Definitely a, a good opportunity to flex our skills on putting rounds down range quickly. While getting used to each other's tactics and learning to work as a team was a small hurdle. Sailors of both nations rose to the challenge and learned a lot from the experience. This exercise has given us a lot of insight into communication. There's been a lot of coordination that's been happening between ourselves and Japan, all the ships here involved, and communication is definitely key. There's been some measures that we've taken to improve that, and I think that it will just continue to improve from here as far as coordination and, and getting on the same page with our communications. Ensign Broadhead was pleased with not only her team, but with the effort of the entire crew of USS Samson. Samson always performs at high caliber. Our guys put a ton of effort and time, blood, sweat, and tears into their training, and so they far surpassed my expectations. Uh, and, and in a way, this has been a great exercise to showcase the talents on board. On the other hand, this is what we do every day, and so just bringing the consistency of what we do best uh, is what we've done here. Uh, working with Japanese and their air targets has been a great experience, a little bit different than what we're used to working with our own drones in some of these exercises, but uh, the adjustment to that was fairly seamless, and, and we got the opportunity to integrate 
with their ships as well. While most of the attention in multi-sail is focused above the decks for the spectacular missile shoots and weapons demonstrations, another vital mission was being accomplished by sailors deep inside the ship. The endless mission of constant preventative maintenance to keep the ship in pristine working condition. Uh, preventative maintenance is important out here because what we have out here is what we get. You know, obviously we're in the middle of the ocean. We can't just you know pull in on on a call and, and do whatever we have to do. We have to basically utilize the resources that we have on board to, to fix any issues. So the reason preventative maintenance is important is because you know once something happens, it's too late. So it's important to make sure that you know it doesn't get to that point. So. And it's really not too bad either. I mean, it's just little things that can make a huge difference. The battle to keep the ship working is fought on a daily basis, and multi-sail is no different. So with multi-sail, it's been a little bit more hectic than usual because of the fact that we've never done in and out, in and out of port this rapidly. It's, we've usually had more time underway, you know, with port and underway, you know, rotation being pretty even. But now it's it's pretty hectic because we've been in and out every few days. So we've got, you know checks that we have to do prior to getting underway. We've had to keep up with those. The reason why this is so important is that in the case that we need to use these systems, we know that they're going to work. So, you know, we're on a ship, we're out here in the middle of the ocean, we get sea spray all the time and things corrode. Things break, you know, it can get, especially uh, down in some of the engineering spaces, it can get really warm in there. So that causes systems to, you know, to, to break, to degrade, so it's extremely important that we do this preventative maintenance just to make sure that everything is in proper working order. So in the case that we have a fire and I pull out, I go to use my AFFF hose reel, I know that it's actually going to work. I'm going to be able to dispense the AFFF and fight the fire. Maintenance is a required aspect of ship life that all sailors have to participate in at some point in their naval career. Ensign Gray says that while it may be a lot of hard work, it also provides sailors with a lot of satisfaction during exercises like multi-sail, when they get the rare chance to see their hard work come to life as a successful launch. Multi-sail is an awesome opportunity to actually be able to use our weapon systems, use our systems that we do maintenance on all the time. So it's not often that we get to launch a, an SM2. It's not often that we get to launch chaff. However, these guys do maintenance on this constantly and they train to it constantly. So it's an awesome opportunity for the crew, myself included, to be able to see these systems actually in action. The exercise didn't just show the individual ship's crews what their ship was capable of. It also gave them a chance to see their allied ships performing at the same caliber. Multi-sail is super important for us to be able to work alongside our partner nations. To be out here with Japan has been a tremendous opportunity. It gives us the opportunity to hone our skills, to continue to build our relationships and foster our ability to bring ourselves to the fight when called upon. So this has been definitely a worthwhile experience for our crews and definitely, I think, a worthwhile experience for all the ships that have been involved. Our guys and gals did a great job. They performed at a high caliber as we expect every day. I'm very proud of them on board Samson. And also it's, it's pretty evident that uh, all the ships out here put in the necessary preparation to make this a success. So look forward to future multi-sales and, and working hand in hand on a multinational level. After the exercise concluded, sailors from both countries took the final step to building a strong partnership by getting to know each other in a more relaxed environment. Participants shared good times and joined each other for some friendly competition in the spirit of the exercise. Crew members from each ship formed teams to compete in softball, soccer, and even a little tug of war. That does it for this edition of Pacific Magazine. And from all of us at AFN Pacific, thanks for watching.